Council has over 1,200 tenants living in our sheltered housing schemes throughout the South Lanarkshire area. We do take consultation with them extremely seriously and this was our first conference and the theme we chose was live well in sheltered housing. We felt that would be important for them and us to understand what concerns they may have and how they can make use of all the facilities that are available in South Lanarkshire to improve their own lives and the way they live them. Older people, when they retire, if they're not involved in activities and opportunities and connected to their peers, they can suffer from loneliness and boredom. So it's important to get you out and get active and get involved. And if you're out and active and involved, then you will experience good mental health and well-being, and that will lead to a really positive retirement. To open the conference, we had a, a theme around the 1950s and the 60s, led by Dave Marshall, ex-DJ Radio Clyde. That was a stunning success. I'm often asked about yesterday once more, what, what do you do? I think people assume that I play records because I've been doing that on the radio for the last 40 years. But it isn't just about playing records. Uh, yesterday once more, it's all about remembering the 60s and 70s, and, and the 50s too for that matter. I think it's more important than ever nowadays that people are given the opportunity, older people, to relate to each other. And certainly living in the retirement development, or living together, it's great because they have the privacy of their own accommodation usually, but if they want to go to the lounge or get involved in their social activities, they can do that if they want to. And here today, we're seeing a lot of organisations aimed towards helping older people to get together. First of all, I've been here today um, to highlight to the residents what it is we actually have to offer in leisure in terms of our services. Also to really promote the importance of regular physical activity, not only to have a more active lifestyle in general in terms of a social or mental aspect, but the importance of it in terms of benefiting the quality of life. So even the simplest of exercises that can be done in the home, sit to stands, using your wrist action, so on and so forth, um, can have a really positive impact on people's quality of life. So hopefully the participants have left today with some idea of, of what they can do on a day-to-day -day basis. If I can use the modern parlance, networking is very important. And coming to an event like this, you meet people that you maybe haven't seen before and all of a sudden you see things that you could do in your own complex that the people would enjoy. So it's nice to make these contacts. Um, speaking from today, there are certainly two events, the fitness event and the Dave Marshall thing was absolutely excellent. And I think any complex would enjoy that. It was just total entertainment and laughter all the way through. We had a choir that came to sing to us over the lunchtime period, and again, that went down very well. I'm here today at the Living Well event with our choir, Musical Memories. We're a dementia choir uh, for people with dementia with a diagnosis and their family members. We came along to do a performance, which I hope everybody enjoyed. Being part of the group is part of what we're about. It's not just the singing, it's the social interaction. That's part of what binds us and helps us all to stand there. And a lot of these people have never sung in public before. It really brings them out themselves and gives them a lot of confidence and, and enjoyment. In the afternoon, we held sessions looking at the, the, the Live Well theme again. Uh, Healthy Valleys, for example, came and talked to us about eating well and cooking well. We had other themes around craft and picking up on new skills to it as well, with people getting beauty treatments. The, the people that were in here, the speeches and everything else, and all the films, it's been absolute pleasure. And we had uh, a massage and our nails all done. So we're going to go back to the college and get, meet the girls again. Men are a harder group of older people to engage with. The men's shed has taken the individual shed from the back garden and into the community. They can get together and they can read the newspaper and have a cup of tea. Some sheds, like the one in West Hill in Aberdeen, are cooking. So the men's shed is whatever the men decide it can be. This is a real new way for men to get out and get involved. We're here from the Lean Project um, and we're here today to talk about two of our projects that we have running at the moment. We've had an absolutely excellent response today. Um, there's been a number of people that have came and spoke to us. We've actually had some sign-ups as well, which is wonderful for us. And I just think events like this are really, really great because it gets everybody together in the one venue and it's generally people that all have the same issues, they all have the same needs and the same wants. They're all together in the one room, so these things are absolutely excellent to be involved with. The final session we had was what we called the Option 
Market Finder where we invited our audience of over 150 tenants to let us know what they thought both on the conference uh, and also about how they're finding the sheltered housing service that the council provides. We've actually now got very good feedback on both. So all in all it was, I think, a very successful event. The speakers were excellent, the food was excellent, the presentations were absolutely fantastic, the information we've received has been absolutely brilliant. We can feed back from what we learned today to the sheltered housing complex. Crucially, the tenants have been involved in the organisation of this event, so we would take our lead from them on any future event planning. Don't play, be happy.